Hi guys, welcome to this video on crude oil, where we're going to be looking at what crude oil is and what it's used for. Nice and simply then, crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons. You should remember that from the previous video, it's made up of hydrogen and carbon only. And there are lots of different types of these hydrocarbons in there, going from your short chain ones drawn here up to your large chained molecules, which again only contain carbon and hydrogen. Now it doesn't just have to be these chains that I've drawn here, it can also be things called rings as well. So you can have ring compounds with carbon and hydrogen in. Now, as you guys probably know, crude oil is a massively important chemical. It is used in almost anything that you can think of. And the major use is that it's a fuel in our cars in petrol. So petrol is a part of crude oil that we have to extract and we use it to fuel our cars in the petrochemical industry. But there are so many other uses and as we go on through this topic, you will learn what those other uses are. What you should also remember is it's a finite resource. And what that means is we've only got a certain amount of it and we are running out. So oil is not going to last forever. If we use it all up, we cannot make more. That's what a finite resource is, it means non-renewable. And that's really all there is to it with this video. You should now have a definition of what crude oil is, you should now know what it's used for and the fact that it's a finite resource, so let's have a look at what the questions that can be asked on this part of the topic are. I've got four questions for you then. So it starts off by saying crude oil is a black liquid that is found in the Earth's crust. Question one, what is crude oil made up of? So we've talked about that, Put two things down that's going to get you two marks. Question two, look at the three substances below. Explain which of these three substances is not likely to be found in crude oil. So you've got A, B and C. Which one is not going to be in crude oil and why? Question three, why is crude oil important? That's effectively asking what it's used for. And then question four, crude oil is an example of a finite resource what does the term finite resource mean? So pause the video, have a go answering the questions and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So question one then, what is crude oil made up of? Hopefully you can remember from the video that it's a mixture of hydrocarbons. That's your main thing you need to get down. Then the, the next thing you can talk about is actually what are those hydrocarbons made up of? You can talk about the length and you can talk about the fact that they are made up of rings and chains. So anything like that is going to get you your second mark. The third thing that you could have put is that, that actually there are impurities in the crude oil. Now it's not something we've talked about in this video, it's something we'll talk about later on, um, but it contains sulfur which can cause acid rain, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Question two says, look at the three substances below, explain which of the three substances is not likely to be found in crude oil. What you're looking for is the ones that aren't hydrocarbons. So you've got two in here, which is A and B. So you get one mark for saying both A and B are not gonna be found in crude oil. And then why? Because they are not hydrocarbons, or crude oil only contains hydrocarbons. If we move on to question three then, which is why is crude oil important? Nice and simply, what is it used for? Petrol in cars, used in the petrochemical industry. And there are loads and loads of other uses that you could have put. So we will go through these again in a later video, but fuel for planes, fuel for lorries, heating, making plastic, surfacing roads, any other suitable use like that would get you the mark here. Then the final question, crude oil is an example of a finite resource. Determine the term finite resource. So what does finite resource mean? It will run out. It's unrenewable, non-renewable, it cannot be used again. Anything like that is going to get you your mark. And that is it for this video. I have got a review question for you, which is describe the composition and importance of crude oil. So composition, what is it made up of? Importance, why do we need it? Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.